Hi everyone, um, Mrs. Bonner here. I just wanted to do a little screencast of this section going into this week as we go into Unit 3. Um, I had to get a little creative because my screencast is not working currently, um, but I wanted to provide some support sooner rather than later. Um, essentially what we're going to be doing is that we're moving in from away from Unit 2, which really talked about identity. Um, to going into Unit 3 where we're talking about critical media literacy and the role that media has played um, in today's world. Um, you'll see two links within this particular section. You'll see the attached document that outlines some of the text choices our kids are going to be getting into. Um, one of the things I'd like to do is I'd like to provide a list of texts for kids to be able to choose from um, with those particular texts they are going to um, give me their top three. So for example, if I, if I click on this document here, I'm gonna go to a document that almost looks like a table and I will scroll up. You'll see the various different types of text that are collected here and you have access to all this even though it might seem fuzzy or grainy at the time. Um, so what you'll see here is that this is a this we do have a book in this this choice selection, but for the remainder remaining of the choices that students have for this unit um, is either a podcast or a documentary series. Um, what you can do within this chart is that you can obviously see the title, you can see a, a caption or or a graphic that kind of advertises the particular let's say this podcast right here caught from NPR. Um, you have a little blurb happening here as well as a link to possibly going and listening to a, a, a section of it just like our kids are going to be doing this week and selecting their top text that they're interested in um, i wanted to provide full access for you all to be able to see those things as well um, in some cases if you actually click on the actual document um, there are links to particular trailers or um, additional information that kind of examine the text themselves along with some additional information or that like I like to call them a blurb about the various texts. Um, one of the things of, of the reasons why I'm sharing this with you today, not only to get a feel for what we're getting into with our unit, our next unit, but just as as parents to be knowledgeable of the different texts that are happening in our class, there's there's all the texts that are offered within this unit really kind of lean into some real world topics such as um, poverty and race and class. And one of the things that are what we're going to be doing with it is taking a look and see how media plays a role on, on top of these spaces. Um, much of this unit is examining these key ideas that I just listed and really thinking about them um, as we move forward into our next unit after looking at media um, into Dear Justice, which is a fiction book by Nick Stone. Um, those of you who have older students, um, I think, I believe that they're juniors this year actually. Uh, we read Dear Martin here in class and we actually had Nick Stone visit Hayworth, the author visit Hayworth. Um, Nick Stone is, is kind of writing the companion novel to that um, Dear Martin text, and we'll be examining that this year for our class text. Um, regardless, one of the reasons why those particular eight texts were chosen for Unit 3 or our media unit is so that it helps students kind of develop questions and think about those things as, as we move into that Dear Justice unit in around mid-October. Um, a lot of what our students will be encountering for the, the next three weeks in terms of media may sound um, really kind of looking at the various problems, problems that media might provide, the, the problems that exist within our society and in terms of poverty and, and race and, and class. When we go into Dear Justice, one of the things that I think is really important is to also look at the hope. Um, so as we go into our next unit with Dear Justice, we're going to take our knowledge that we've learned from our media studies and really think about around the hope that, that we can provide as, as we move forward as, as students, as learners, as humans, um, and, and an opportunity to, to really examine what is being done 
to to be hopeful and and to possibly um, rethink some of these things that have been in existence for so long um, so I just wanted to kind of, I know this is a fairly long section of text. I wanted to provide kind of some talk through, um, some, some additional thinking on my end on, on why these, these things are going to be what they are. Um, alongside this, I'm going to include something called a unit guide, kind of gives you a snapshot as parents. Um, what will be happening throughout this unit and along with that unit guide I'm also going to attach a unit calendar which is something that our students use on a daily basis to access the agenda they can see upcoming due dates they can um, see what's going on in terms of classwork in case for some reason they might be gone um, I wanted to provide all that information to you and I will continue to provide that information to you not only on our website but on our um, updates as well um, please, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me anytime. Thanks.